With regard to laryngeal irritants, these are things that are irritating to laryngeal mucosa. So they might be things that are irritating the chemoreceptors, the pressure receptors, perhaps the temperature receptors on the vocal fold tissue. You know, keep in mind that the, you know, the larynx number one job is to protect the lower airway from dangerous things. So of course it is, you know, deeply and extensively covered with receptors to try to discern if there's something dangerous in the environment that would require protection uh, to keep the lower airway healthy. Some of the irritants that individuals report um, that trigger PVFM events are listed on this slide. Um, some of them can include smoke, even cigarette smoke. Others are specific chemicals that may be uh, in a la chemical lab where they work or in a factory where they work. Um, I've had folks who work at mattress factories or textile mills where there are um, certain chemicals, flame retardant chemicals, for example, that are in the environment that are particularly noxious to their upper airway. Um, fumes, even fumes from printed materials, magazines, newspapers, that sort of thing can be a trigger for some individuals. Um, vapors from cleaning agents um, can be very problematic for some individuals and trigger PVFM events. Um, some of these individuals are unable to walk down the aisle at the grocery store that has cleaning agents, such as you know, Clorox or uh, fragrances, um, scents that pe scented candles, those sorts of things can also trigger these events. Um, mist, dust, um, and reflux. These are all real typical things that clients might say trigger uh, PVFM events. Keep in mind for many of these individuals, several things on this list might trigger events within a given individual. It's not usually just one thing. Mm -hmm.